Welcome to Click Workshop. Um, today we're going to look at the module jobs and how to create jobs, um, converting and linking your jobs to an invoice, etc., and how you can do multiple jobs to one invoice. Okay, uh, again, I'm going to do the little trick that I've showed you a few times in these videos by just searching for the customer and then right clicking create and then job sheet so brilliant it's created it's put it's put it in the account it's put the location address it's put everything i need to need it to do at this present time um i'm now going to look at the rates and the rates again pulled through from the customer so we see that the call out charge is 50 you see for this particular customer call out charge is 50 um, they have their engineer rates these rates for this particular customer again you can change these rates in the job by clicking on custom and just filling in these details to whatever you need it to do okay so the next tab is description so what you can do here is you can do the work to be done um, so if I do fit a light bulb that's the work to be done and you can put in a fitted light bulb there we go save that note and it's done so you can see your work to be done and your actual work done notes again can be absolutely anything with anything in notes generally put in what you like um, how difficult the job was how easy the job was um, whatever you want um, you can also attach equipment um, you might have some equipment for this particular site or this particular customer and you can add that equipment um, I'm just going to click as you can see what it does is it will try and find the equipment for this particular site there isn't any so what you can do is you can add new and it will populate and you can add your piece of equipment um, I'm going to put in um, fire alarm something like that category standard piece of equipment it was installed on the 29th uh, warranty date next service date etc I'm just going to click save and close for that and I'm going to select that piece of equipment in here so what this tells you is this job that this piece of equipment is in this job and it will be worked on you can then go to engineers and select the engineers you wish to work on um, we said the job is all day uh, we can see this is brilliant because what you can see is you can see oh hang on Tom's got a job already it looks like it's all day and so is Jeff uh, well we're gonna have to pick another engineer and let's pick uh, Paul Snowden he seems to not be doing anything at the moment I'm just gonna fit appointments just to see John Smith and Paul Snowden don't seem to be doing anything at the moment so I will click on that and click OK and there you go he's been assigned to that particular job um, the next thing we've got is activity uh, this is where you can attach an invoice to the job you can either add a new one add to an existing invoice link to an existing invoice anything you want really I'm going to go for all these three actually so new you would just go new you can select a blank invoice a completely blank doesn't bring over anything at all um, totals for labor materials and miscellaneous selected items all items all items as a single item now in this job at the moment we don't actually have anything in time materials miscellaneous so we'll put a few things in again we're going to add an item for the job you can see that the engineer has already been selected but he hasn't got a rate this particular engineer so we're going to select another rate and we're going to just select normal engineer rate at £10 an hour which is related to the customer's rate so there we go we're going to select the cost rate as well and press OK and you go to materials we're going to add from the products and he's going to work on we're going to, we're going to put in I'm going to put in a widescreen LCD there we go so we've got the materials got the times and now you can create the invoice by just go to new selected items this particular one we'll select all and we selected the invoice and as you can see it's created the invoice with your call out charge your work time and the material that you'll be putting in to the job okay 
So now we can see that this job sheet has got one invoice. Um, it may be a job that goes on a bit longer and you start putting in more material. So you can go, right, I've got to add another product. So I'm going to add another product. Uh, put that in. Add to job. And then what you can do is you can create another invoice. And you do selected items this time and you only select the new one. So you can see there's a little tick that says it's been invoiced. So you don't want to invoice it again. You press OK. Obviously you can if you want to. But in this case we won't. We'll just press OK. And there we go. We've got multiple invoices in one job. Um, so you've got two invoices here in one job. And you can continue to do that. Um, next thing we've got is user fields. Again, if you've got any user fields in your job sheet that you created in your settings, you can put in here. So your classification is new. There aren't any, but I'm going to create one. We've got one called uh, factor reference. I think I'm going to put that in the job sheet. And it's OK. And you can put in whatever you want in there. And you can have as many user fields as you wish. Uh, and again, we have action lists. So you can say, right, this particular job, you have to follow certain rules. Um, so you click on new. I got this one, which is energy saving checklist. Press OK. So the engineer will have to go through this action list one by one and make sure he completes it. And he's completed it. And then we go to links, and we can see this linked to two invoices here. Signatures. So if your engineer is on site and he signs for it, you'll get your signatures all populate in here. And access other. This is really cool. This basically gives you cards about um, what time you visited, etc. Add a carded visit. There we go. At 3.19 today, that's when I visited. You can also create a appointment add appointment and you can change that estimated time completed estimated time of arrival am pm whatever you want you can put a site contact and mobile number as well and you will also see a communication history of all communication for this particular customer in this one there isn't any and i'm going to just click on save so that's saved my job sheet and it's created my job sheet and we've managed to convert linking that job sheet to an invoice. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to go into one of these invoices. We go to activity. And this invoice, I want to link it to multiple jobs. Um, so you can go into any of your invoices and say, right, Okay, I've noticed that this is linked to one job, but I want to link it to another job. So I'm going to go link existing job. I'm going to find another job. It can be anything you want. And click OK. And I've linked it to two jobs. So we've got two two jobs linked to this invoice, which is absolutely fantastic. So you can link as many jobs as you want to one invoice. Okay, that will conclude uh, creating a job sheet and converting linking job sheets to an invoice and multiple jobs to one invoice. Um, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.